Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagat at Mysore. So today I will be clarifying some doubts which have been asked in the comment section and particularly this is pertaining to Sat Kalatra Yoga. <coughs> so what is Sat Kalatra Yoga? Let me define that before going into this. Sat Kalatra Yoga, I am doing only basics because you will have to go to that uh, video to go in the detail, to go totally into that and then understand what actually it is. But if the seventh house is well posited with benefic planets, Satkalatra Yoga happens, but it is not so generally discussed. If a benefic planet like Jupiter is placed in the seventh house, that is the house of Kalatrasthana, then Satkalatra Yoga happens. So here, I have some list of uh, doubts asked by several people. So first I am taking up uh, the doubt of uh, Sai Satish who has asked just now, three hours ago. So in my Kundali, the seventh house has Jupiter, Venus and Rahu. Does Satkalatra Yoga still is applicable or is it not? So he wants me to explain about it. So the depending on the conjunction. So here we, we know that he has Jupiter along with Venus which gives rise to Dviguru Yoga which is not such a great combination for uh, uh, first marriage to be stable. So it will be very unstable when there is a Jupiter and Venus together because one is a materialistic planet, the other one is a planet of knowledge. So two planets together. But here you have a third planet which is Rahu. So Venus, Jupiter, Rahu, three planets together. So keeping into, you know, I am considering that all three have influence over each other and it is conjunct. Because he is telling me, he has not given me the degrees or anything like that. So when Rahu comes into play along with two benefits, if it was no benefits and only Rahu, then there would not have been any problem in married life. If it was only Jupiter or only Venus in the seventh house, not much of a difficulty in married life. But when there is Jupiter, Venus and Rahu all three put together, there seems to be some difficulty depending on the seventh lord, seventh lord's position, the seventh, what are all the aspects of the seventh house, we all have to see that, but still only with this much, only with what is asking, you know. With 7th house, Jupiter, Venus and Rahu, it is very clearly indicating a lot of ups and downs with regard to married life and relationships. Okay. So next is Divya, Divya M. Five months ago she has asked, I have not answered. I will, I will keep taking out, uh, you know, videos in particular on particular dates and I will keep answering what all uh, doubts I have not answered till date. So, Jupiter in Libra in the 7th house and Venus exalted in the 12th house. So, when Jupiter is in Libra, Libra in the 7th house, that means the ascendant is in Aries. So, Venus is exalted in the 12th house. The 7th Lord Venus is exalted in Mina Rashi, that is Pisces. Sir, can you please tell what it means? This is one of the best, you know, classic question for Satkalatra Yoga. We here not only have Venus getting exalted in the 7th house, we also have a position where Jupiter and Venus have exchanged houses. You know, Jupiter is in Venus sign and Venus is in Jupiter's sign. So this particular Parivartana Yoga will keep the marriage very stable and Satkalatra Yoga is fully applicable in this case. Whether the marriage is going to be stable or unstable depends on many other factors as I have told you already earlier. You know, it all depends on whether the 6th house is having Rahu, whether the 8th house is having some Saturn and that particular Dasha is running. So we don't know what actually is running but still with regard to the placement, Satkalatra Yoga is very much available and it is running. Lara from South Korea. So she is one of my uh, followers, uh, she comments, she is a very good astrologer herself, she is excellent, she practices astrology, so 
she is a professional so one of my friends has jupiter in the seventh house which is its own house because it's virgo ascendant so jupiter is in its seventh house and its own house with exalted venus once again dviguru yoga i am telling you wherever there is dviguru yoga in the seventh house the marriage will get delayed and it is difficult aspected by mars which is in the fourth house so the fourth house mars is aspecting the seventh house from there so i think it is fourth aspect of mars i think mars is aspect yeah fourth aspect of mars tenth aspect of saturn so she got divorced last year after seven years of married life obviously her married life was not smooth and easy when she got married after 40 40 years when she was 40 at age she has got married that is the delay which is shown because of saturn's aspect but not only because of saturn please people should understand if venus is exalted in the seventh house there will there will be delay in marriage so here it is virgo ascendant mars is placed in the fourth house in sagittarius it is aspecting the fourth from it that is the seventh house so it is in the fourth aspecting the fourth it should be good it should have been good but being the eighth lord why it is given given divorce there should have been relationships see this person should have been active in married life but venus and jupiter both are highly intellectuals we don't want intellectuals to be having a you know big huge seminar there in the house of relationship we need you know peaceful calm happy enjoyable planet like venus unafflicted in the seventh house will have a fantastic married life or there will be no marriage at all this is what was uh, analyzed when we told karako bhavana ashaya venus the karaka for marriage karaka for love romance is placed in the seventh house along with jupiter which is a male planet for a female which is also one of the karakas for the groom and it's spoiling the show there some sort of karako bhavana ashaya can be applied yeah uttappa bn has asked me three months ago that sir i am capricorn ascendant with jupiter and moon in the seventh house in kushya nakshatra so capricorn ascendant with jupiter and moon such a strong gajakesari yoga capricorn jupiter and moon in karkarashi that is cancer its own sign for moon and it's an exalted sign for jupiter though it is the 12th lord jupiter should be giving fantastic results there so now he is asking for my married life whether jupiter in the 7th is good in pushya nakshatra being the nakshatra of saturn which is the lagna adipati sir jupiter being very close to exaltation no pushya nakshatra first pada is pure exaltation for jupiter but still this particular position might give a troubled marriage because jupiter being the seventh lord but still satkalatra yoga yes here it's not about married life it is about satkalatra yoga whether he is going to get a virtuous spouse whether the spouse will be good for, for in her nature in her virtue fantastic yoga this is fully applicable even uh, in the previous uh, uh, you know question where lara has explained yes satkalatra yoga is fully applicable there the differences might have cropped up and they they, they might have got divorced satkalatra yoga does not mean that uh, marriage will stay permanently stable so aman alag has asked me five months ago sir what will be the results when jupiter is in the seventh house with sun and mercury and the ascendant is taurus so for taurus the seventh house falls in scorpio where jupiter sun and mercury are placed as per him so if sun is not very close to jupiter and mercury and no there is no combustion there should not be any problem in married life first point because 
Mercury is the second and the fifth lord. Sun is the fourth lord. They are giving rise to a beautiful Buddha Aditya Yoga, Lakshmi Narayana Yoga in the seventh house. It is a fantastic Raj Yoga in the seventh house, which should be keeping the seven stable. Also, when Jupiter is the eighth lord and the twelfth lord, which is sitting in the seventh house, but remember, it's its friend's house. Jupiter is in Soumya. That is, it is in. It's in friend's house, Mitra Kshetra. The, this is also a Sat Kalatra Yoga. Pratap Gahlot has asked me six months ago that, Sir, can we consider all these points in the D9 chart also for a retro Jupiter? Forget about the retro Jupiter point now. Whether these points have to be considered in the D9 chart, then Sat Kalatra Yoga can be seen in the D9 chart if Jupiter is placed in the seventh from the ascendant of the D9. Yes, this can be even carried to that point. It will give you a final refinement. Nirmanyu Sharma has asked, Sir, in Karak Lagna, that is in Cancer, Guru is in seventh house from it. Is it good or bad? Here, Jupiter gets debilitated in the seventh house from Cancer sign. Cancer is ascendant here because seventh house falls in the sign of Capricorn. So it is weak because sixth lord in the seventh house, it is weak. So Satkalatri Yoga is very weak. Satyanarayana, six months ago, he has asked me, is retro Jupiter in Taurus posited with the moon? Moon is exalted there in Taurus. For a Scorpio Ascendant, Benefic or Malefic, the seventh house is in, the seventh house, no, the seventh lord, I think, Venus is in the twelfth house, Libra. So, Venus is in its own player sign, which is a good uh, thing to happen. Venus, the Karaka for the twelfth house, being positive in the twelfth house is good for married life, for Shaina Sukha, so, so many things else for relationship and all these things, so it's a good placement. So, it's a romantic placement actually. But Jupiter retro in the 7th house, it was only moon, the 9th lord in the 7th house, it would have been Raja Yoga. 9th lord in the 7th house, 7th lord in the 12th house, own sign, fantastic Raja Yoga. But Jupiter being the 2nd and the 5th lord, the lord of romance, my dear, sitting in the 7th house along with the lord of blessing, 9th lord, it is going to be a love marriage which will stay for a long period of time. And it will be a true Satkalatra Yoga marriage. So it's a good uh, question because, you know, Jupiter, it is retrograde here, but still will give good results because of very well placed moon. BK, two months ago, has asked Jupiter in Leo in seventh house, how my married life will be. Jupiter is in Leo in the seventh house because the Lagna falls in. Uh, Kumbarashi, that is Aquarius, and Jupiter in Leo is in a good sign because the second lord and the eleventh lord sitting in its friend's house in the seventh house, it again gives rise to Satkalatra Yoga, a fantastic yoga. God bless. I think this is a good position. So this was for Satkalatra Yoga. I think I have covered only this number of questions, these number of questions. So as time uh, permits, I'll keep answering these questions on uh, video itself because it's so difficult to keep typing all this much of text. So thank you very much for today's class.